Uh, the first is what's conformations. Uh, this is basically a rotation. Uh, and it's sort of been assumed in all my drawings so far, but now I will explicitly say it. Let's say you have a uh, skeletal structure that looks like that. What is this called? That'd be propane. You don't have to draw it like this. This would be identical to drawing it like this. Or you could draw it like this. Or you could draw it like this. Whatever. You can rotate it in any way in space that you want to. Those are called conformers or confirmations. Um, because what happens, they're all single bonds. And single bonds can freely rotate in space, all kinds of different wiggly positions like a snake. So it does not, these are all still propane, they're all the same molecules. They're just oriented in space differently. So don't let that throw you. So if I draw a molecule uh, like this, okay, that is really, what's the longest chain here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I, this is the same as drawing this with two methyl groups on the one, two, three, and the five. One, two, three, and five. Those are the same. Let's call it conformers, just rotating them differently. Here I drew the a main chain just kind of wiggly, and here I drew it just uh, straight up, zigzagging straight across the page with these two methyl groups now pointing down. So those are conformers of each other. Those are equivalent, equivalent structures. Um, and when you take uh, the big time OCHEM, uh, if you do, uh, it, you'll get more craziness than this. But that's just to show you that you can draw it different ways. Uh, isomers, specifically structural isomers first, or what's called constitutional. Same thing. Constitutional or structural isomers are isomers are when you have the same molecular formula, but the compound is different. So you uh, reattach bonds, move things around uh, spatially. Uh, so uh, the constitutional specifically is when you have different connectivity. Okay. So an isomer same. Same molecular formula, different compound. Uh, structural, specifically, is when the connectivity changes. So I'll give you an example. C4H10, what is that uh, molecule? Yeah, I could draw it as a butane, like that. Or I could draw it as a propane with a methyl at the two position. These both have four carbons and ten hydrogens. So these are called structural or constitutional isomers. The const and the first one's unbranched, the second one's branched. It can get more complicated than this if you want it to by just drawing bigger molecules. Okay, so let's say you get really big, C6. This is going to start to get messy. So my method of drawing, and a common question, draw all the isomers. So for this one, if I have to draw all the isomers, what I do is draw the straight, unbranched chain first. So this would be a hexane, like that. Then what I do is go smaller and smaller. So that's the sixth, sixth chain here. Now I'll go down to the five, a pentane, and I'm going to remove one carbon group and say I put it here. Where else could I put it? I could put it in the middle. Is there anywhere else I could put it? Where, where do you want to put it? You want to put it in the fourth position? If I do this, what's that? Yeah, you'll notice that this is called 2-methylpentane. And this is 2-methylpentane. If it has the same name, it's the same thing. If I see Bob uh, Nguyen in one place, and then I see Bob Nguyen somewhere else, that's the same humanoid. Okay? So, go down to four, and then 
Now I have two carbons to attach. So I can attach them in a lot of places. I can put them both here. I could put them uh, one here and one here. I could, uh, what else can I do? What else can I do? There's one more. No? I can there. Oh, you want to try an apple? Like this? What's that? This is a compromer of this. This is called 3 methyl pentane. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 methyl pentane. So don't draw that one, it's identical. Okay, I think I got them all. So there's a total of, for this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, uh, we can also do geometric isomers. So be ready, any molecule I give you, be able to draw all the isomers of it. Uh, now, just like in transition metals, we have geometric isomers. And you might remember from the transition metals, that's like cis trans fact uh, But uh, with organics, we don't have fact and mer, but we will have cis and trans. Okay? So let me show you some examples of cis and trans. Uh, let's say I have a double bonded species and two chlorines here. If I have two chlorines on the same side, what do you think that's called, cis or trans? That's a cis. I could also draw the two chlorines on opposite sides. That's trans. So you'll see cis and trans in one location on uh, alkenes. So alkenes will tend to have cis and trans. So you've heard of like trans saturated fats. Those are fats with double bonds and the, everything's in the trans position. Okay. Uh, you can also have cis and trans on rings. So let's take... Uh, a cyclopropane, and let's put two methyls on it. I can put a methyl pointed up and a methyl pointed down on another position. What do you think that's called? This is trans. They're on the opposite sides of the ring. One's pointed kind of, uh, oh, I do that kind of funny, but yeah, I should have done, should have made this the triangle. This the dash. Okay. That's really ugly. That's so ugly. Okay. <laughs> Try it again. CH3, H, CH3. That's ugly too. Um, whatever. Okay. Close enough, here's a trans. There, one's kind of pointed up above the ring, one's below the ring. And I can draw the cis for a ring when they're both on the same side. Okay? So you can have cis and trans for rings, cis and trans for uh, alkenes. So, for example, if you were going to name this, normally you'd name it 1,2-dimethylcyclopropane. Okay? 1,2-dimethylcyclopropane. Now that it has this geometric part, you'd say trans 1,2-dimethylcyclopropane. So you need to put the trans in front. This would be called cis 1,2-dimethylcyclopropane. Yeah? Um, does it matter what side it's pointing or if it's on the same side? Oh, I see what you mean. Does it matter if they're both up or both down? Yeah. It doesn't matter. That's not important for the name. You'll actually find if the two methyls were down instead of up, it'd be the same structure. You could rotate it 